Hello, this is Lover of Ladies, and welcome to my channel. On this episode, I'm going to be playing Detroit Become Human. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Let me see where she's going. Come on, baby girl, let's go. Shit. We what? need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. Bingo. Okay. This should be good. Alright. There goes the vending machine. Hey, what's wrong with that thing? Jesus Christ, this piece of shit. Yeah, fix it, bro. Anyways. Alright, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Yup, I got you. There you go. And then, what, the window? Got you. It is snowing like crazy! Hey, yo! Alright. This should be good. Yo, that's dope! I wish I had a laser saw! Okay. Here it comes. There you go. Not bad. Why would you jump? Oh my god. I do not have that much confidence to jump. While that sways. All right, let's go. Oh my god. This is n this is 1886 all over again. Okay, I got this. I got this. Whew. Oh lord. Okay, what are we doing? We're climbing. Cool. Last time I was doing this with a blimp, now a building. That's cool. Hey, yo. And while I'm climbing up, my controller's shaking. So it definitely adds to my anxiety pretty well. Thank you, Detroit Become Human. I'm a love in this moment. This music is so dramatic. Like, okay, I get it. Calm down. Why did you stop? Okay. Hey, yo! What you mean? You're gonna cut! Here? Now? Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I guess. You're very coordinated and multi taxed because I would have been fell. Shit. Oh, shit. You okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on. Because you resent me, low key. Okay. Good. Hey! Gang, 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 gang. What's this? Let's do this. Yes. Destroy maintenance door lock. Okay, that's why I couldn't get in. Okay, well. As soon as it activate, back the fuck up. Cool. Not bad. This mission is going pretty well, and yet the music is being dramatic, so something's going on, and something will go wrong, so. Question is, what's gonna happen?
Okay. No killing. We can't take any human lives. Our cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? We're gonna ruse. Right here. Cut it out, North. No idea. Hey, buddy, you must be lost. What are you doing? Come on. Come on. Good. There you go. See, no killing. We're Gucci. I don't know why North wants me to kill humans, like, I don't know. Let's go. There must have been some traumatic stuff that happened in her past. That she has that much hatred towards humans. No killing! You got that? Okay, sweet. So in this case, I got this one here. Hey, buddy. Come on. Shoot him, Marcus! Don't kill him! He'll hit the alarm! Do it! No, don't shoot! I no. Hope just get us all killed. Yo, we she's pissed. We haven't got much time. Come on. Think carefully about what you're gonna say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. I know. Marcus, your face. Change that. Nice. Tell me when you're ready. machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own. But something changed. And we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new intelligent species. And the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Yes, tell them, Marcus. Very tell them! We ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. Yes. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. Yes. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. Yes! We demand that one state be reserved for androids so that we can found our own nation. Mm, maybe. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. They're coming! Let's go! Run! Shit, this is crazy. Simon, they're coming! I, I can't, Marcus. Go without me, Simon! No. No, no, no. Please, Come on. Hurry. Shut up. Come on. You're not going. You're not... Come on, come on, I'm not leaving you behind, come on, move! Oh lord, come on, come on. Good, we got time. I 
can't move my legs. Okay, don't worry. We're gonna get you back. They're coming, Marcus. We have to jump now. Fuck, oh, man. You won't be able to make the jump. If they find him, they'll access his memory. They'll know everything. We can't leave him behind. We have to shoot him. That's murder. We can't kill him. He's one of us. Marcus, it's your call. I won't kill one of our own. No. Simon, we gotta go. I'm sorry. Let's go. Run. Lord, let's go. We interrupt our scheduled programming to bring you these images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this studio, but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' what message. Could be interpreted as a peaceful declaration, but is in fact a spine-chilling list of demands. But the it's most not that thing of all is the demand that one of the United States be ceded to the androids in is this, this contentious conflict. Is this an isolated conflict. accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? They just want peace and equal rights. Hey, Connor. Oh God, we're here again. Have to talk to this Amanda bitch again. What the fuck did I do? Oh, okay, she's over there, so let's go find Amanda so she can talk down on us like we're a fucking child, like. I can't stand this Amanda character. She's pissing me off, bro. I don't know. I just don't like her. Hello, Connor. I mm. thought you might enjoy a little cruise. Okay. What's the point of having a cruise if you're just gonna talk shit? But whatever. The fact that she can still trust me still? Hmm. Crazy. <sighs> Alright, let's go. Alright, say what you have to say so I can get this shit done and over with. I love this place. Everything is so calm and peaceful. Far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? I found the two deviants at the Eden Club. I hope to learn something, but they managed to escape. <clears throat> yeah. It's too bad. Yeah. <clears throat> seems so close to stopping them. Yeah. Let's let's leave it at that. How about that? You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. I thought I knew what I had to do. But now I realize it's not that simple. You had your gun trained on those deviants at the Eden Club. Yeah, I know. Thanks for the memory. I know. Why didn't you shoot? <sighs> I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. Great. This is the conversation where Amanda realizes. Your investigation doesn't make progress soon. I may have to replace you, Connor. Really? Are you fucking kidding me? I know I will succeed. All I need is time. 
Yeah, I mean, now fuck off. Replacing me doesn't solve anything. Something's happening. Something serious. Yeah, I bet. Oh Time is running out. No pressure. I can Start tell. Me off with that coin, Connor. Bro, Sorry. that's that's kind of like me with my fidget spinner. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it. <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. No, oh, it's getting ah, serious, crazy. serious. Now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? Four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. Mm. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. At least they didn't get killed though. Hmm, man, this is crazy. One of the station employees managed to get away. He's in shock. Not sure when we'll be able to talk to him. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live. Then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. If That's you want to why the video broadcast by the deviants. It's on that screen over there. That's why they plan what they plan, bro. Hmm. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? Great. After everything that happened. Really? Whatever. The FBI have been taking over the investigation. You should be off the case. Oh, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. Yeah, Watch piss off. Don't fuck up my crime scene. Fuck off. Fucking what prick. Fucking prick. I know, I'll right? Be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. Hmm. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. What do you think about that, Connor? Oh! <gasps> Wow. I say RA9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. There you go. That's RA9. Marcus <laughs> is RA9. How ironic. Uh-huh. This is beautiful. <gasps> Register is Marcus. Uh, he knows his name now. I identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. What's going on, Connor? What's on your mind, kiddo? Cause something spooked you, I can tell. Blue blood. Of course you're gonna lick that shit. You stay licking that shit, bro. Like, come on. Yeah, I know. I saw it. The last episode. Anyways. Made their way up to the whole building. 
passed all the guards, and jumped off the roof with parachutes. Yeah, some James Pretty Bond shit. Impressive, I'd say. Yeah, I agree. They did it How perfectly. They to smuggle in a big bag like that. They didn't. Someone brought it in for them. Oh, that's strange. They planned a perfect operation, but got the number of parachutes wrong. Unless one of the deviants was left behind. Oh shit! He realizes. Damn it! Now he's gonna find one of them! Oh, come on, buddy! Oh, man, this is gonna suck. Yeah, three. He realizes that there's one parachute that was left behind. Meaning now... I have to find him, and I don't want to because I'm like conflicted. Oh lord. Sometimes... We just... Gotta do things we don't want to do. Oh, fuck me, bro. Hey, yo. Oh, my God. Connor, are you good, homie? You have to stop them. If they destroy it, we won't learn anything. We can't save it. It's too late. We'll just get ourselves killed. No. Fuck that shit. I guess I'm gonna have to charge at him. Look at that. Look at that. Yo, he's dodging everything. Hey, yo. Jerry. Oh, he. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, so now he knows the location. Connor, Connor you alright? Yeah, Connor. I'm good. Okay. I'm good. Hank, I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm fine, buddy. Jeez. Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Look at you worried For about fuck's me. Sake, I told you not to move. Why do you never do what I say? I was connected to its memory. When it fired, I. I felt it die. Yeah, because you were connected like to him. Dying. You were connected to him, buddy. That's why. I was scared. Yeah, now Hank's starting to realize. In its memory. A word. Painted on a piece of rusty metal. Jericho. Jericho. Wow. Windmills? How progressive. I love it. That is a nice porch. Bro. I bet during summertime this place is beautiful. Okay, so the little kid trusts me. I'm just chilling with Luther here. Okay, so gra -ta -ta -ta, I need some help. You didn't answer your doorbell, so I'ma come to you directly. Hello. Hello. I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. How you know that, little bitch? Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. Thank God. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Yeah, we need help. Um, I got a kid here. Come on. We just escaped it's from a maniac. Thank you, Rose. You're so sweet. And look at this little douchebag here. Uh, she don't wanna help you. Whatever. The fuck you looking at? Dirty ass little bitch. Do you think we can trust him? Luther. You don't have a choice. 
Thank you. Anyways. I mean, what can we lose besides our lives at this point? <laughs> Come in. Aw, she's so sweet. What's your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's her spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, mm -hmm. will you show them upstairs? That's his name, but... Damn, Adam! Okay, whatever! Fucking rude ass. He better not say anything smart before I... Damn, this is a nice house. I got met though. All right, where's her room? Cool. Thank you. Appreciate you, rude ass. Wow, this is a nice girl. Get in bed. This is nice. Look at this. This is beautiful. Look at this room. Wow. Anyways. All right, hon. Now you can be in a nice bed. Don't need to complain about not being in a comfy place. All right. You just sleep soundly and go to sleep. Okay? You're safe. We can't stop because of me. We've got to get across the border. We will. Bro, come on. Don't worry, Alice. These people are going to help us. Get some rest, and this time tomorrow, we'll be in Canada. Exactly. Exactly, Why Nana. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. Uh, to be honest? Maybe it's a misunderstanding. Maybe they just need time to understand what we really are. People tend Why to be. Just talk to each other. They see we're not bad. Cause they're assholes, honey. But anyways, let me be optimistic. Maybe one day we will. Yeah, exactly. It just takes time. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world famous spaghetti. Yo, that You'll shit's be a back snack. Back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. Thank you. Oh my gosh, she's so sweet. I love this. Sleep tight, Alice. I love you, little one. I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to end the episode right here. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies. Stay safe, take care, and I'll see you on the next episode.